Welcome. I hope you're blessed in the Lord. We're going to continue to talk about the order of salvation from the point of view of a disciple as best as I can, trying to make this practical. We're not going in depth, but we're just trying to work through some of the basic concepts so that we can understand how repentance and faith, how faith and works, how these things work together in the Christian life. How is it that we can have assurance through faith, but that we can also understand that we must endure and that we're responsible to endure in faith and in uh, obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so we want to look at some of those issues, but we want to kind of do it in a, a cursory way. So we have already been talking, we talked about uh, conviction of sin and that we need to respond to God and then we need to respond to him with repentance towards God. We turn away from our rebellion against God and we no longer seek to be at war with him, but we seek peace with him. And as we saw in uh, Jonah, uh, that in the book of Jonah, that whenever the Ninevites turned from their wicked ways, when they turned from their rebellion, then God also turned from the wrath that he was going to bring upon them. But we also noted in the last video that just because we turn from our repentance, that is not the only thing that is necessary because there's repentance towards God and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. So as we turn back from our enmity and our war with God and God uh, pardons us, then we also understand that we're not just a forgiven enemy, but then we are adopted through our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no uh, way that we can just say, okay, well, I'm just going to repent, but I'm not going to believe in Jesus Christ. Because when somebody repents and turns back to God, the living God, then they will find Jesus Christ standing there because he is the image of the living God. He is the image of the invisible God. God made flesh. And so there's no way to come back in repentance towards God without trusting in Jesus Christ. But we want to look a little bit more about what happens when we place our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, let's go ahead and turn to uh, John chapter 16. John chapter 16, verse 27. This is Jesus speaking to his disciples. We start in verse 26. On that day, I will ask, I, you will ask in my name. I am not saying that you to you that I shall ask the Father on your behalf. For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. So when we turn back from our, our war with God, God will stop his war with us. But that doesn't mean that we've been reconciled. Just because we're a, a forgiven enemy, that, that repentance has not earned us some sort of favor with God. Instead, what has earned us the covenant love of God, that he has welcomed us as friends, not just as forgiven enemies, but as friends, as children. Uh, what causes this to take place? He says, for the father himself loves you because here's the reason God loves those that trust in uh, believers. It says, for the father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. In other words, because the father loves his son, when we turn to away from our sin and to the Lord Jesus Christ, when we trust in him and when we love him, then the father receives us for his sake. It's not for our sake. It's for the sake of the Son of God because God is well pleased with his Son and so he welcomes us because we welcome his Son. We see this in the beginning of John. If we turn to John chapter 1, verse 11. It says, he came to his own and his own people did not receive him. So he came to the Jewish people, but the majority did not receive him. Verse 12, yet to all who received him, he gave the power to become sons of God to those who believed in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So whenever we turn back to God through faith in Jesus Christ, we are received as his children, not just forgiven enemies, but we are received as his dearly loved children because we are receiving God or we're coming to God through his dearly beloved son. If we flip over to Ephesians chapter one, we read this uh, passage in verse three. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. So it's in Christ that we receive all the heavenly blessings. So if somebody is repenting, they're, they're at war with God, and they realize that's not a good place to be because they're under the wrath of God, and they know that they can't win. And so they turn back and they're seeking to be reconciled with God. They're seeking peace with God and they're returning back to him unconditionally. I will surrender to your, you and your will. I will no longer rebel against you. When they turn back, who they see there, standing there is the Lord Jesus Christ. So when they turn back to the living God, they find his son and they place their trust in his son and they love, and they love his son. 
And because of this, God loves them. God receives them. God adopts them as his children and gives them every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So when we turn away from our rebellion against God, God turns away from his wrath. But how does he do this? He does this because we're also trusting in Christ. And not only does he turn from his wrath, but trusting in Jesus Christ, what Jesus has done for us secures God's favor towards us. So again, as I said, not just forgiven enemies, but we are welcomed as the children of God. Repentance, our repentance is never perfect. Our repentance is never going to be something that can somehow uh, bring us into favor with God. It's just us simply declaring, I'm no longer going to war against you. And, and I'm looking for your peace. I'm looking for your parting. I'm looking for reconciliation. But how does that reconciliation get secured? It is secured through our faith in his son, whom he loves. Because he loves the son and we love the son, God receives us to himself. Let us flip over to Romans chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So repentance, if we don't repent, we're still at war with God. We can't have peace with God because we can't fellowship with him. We can't walk with him while we're at war with him. But if we turn back towards God, how is it that we are received with favor? How is it that we're received as God's children and received in peace, even though we've sinned so greatly against him because of his mercy that is found in Jesus Christ? Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. If we turn over to the book of Hebrews, we can see how this... Uh, lays out even more for those that come to the throne of grace. Looking at verse 14, since then we have a great high priest who has passed into the heavens, Jesus, the son of God, let us hold firmly to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who is in every sense tempted like we are yet without sin. So he is, he sympathizes with our weakness. He's compassionate. Verse 16, let us then come with confidence to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So when we turn back to God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, who loved us and gave himself for us, dying on the cross, rising again, so that we could come back to God and receive favor with God and be at peace with God, this is how it is received. If we jump over to seven, uh, chapter 7, Hebrews, verse 30. 25 here let's see yeah 20 starting 24 but he because he lives forever has an everlasting priesthood therefore he is able to save to the uttermost those who come to god through him because he at all times lives to make intercession for them so back to the verse in acts chapter 20 verse 21 paul went around preaching repentance towards god and faith in the lord jesus christ why is this so we must repent turn from our rebellion and turn and seek reconciliation with God. How do we find that reconciliation with God? After we repent, we find it through Jesus Christ. We turn back in repentance and we trust in Jesus Christ because he is ever living to make intercession for us. So he is able to save to the uttermost everybody that comes to God through him. We have peace with God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. So somebody who is in rebellion against God, they're living for themselves, they are living as the God of their own life. When they come under the conviction of the Holy Spirit and realize they're under the wrath of God, they begin to seek, how can I find peace with God? How can I be delivered from the power of my sin, from the guilt of my sin, from the shame of my sin? And they realize the first thing I must do, like the prodigal son, we must come to our senses and go back to the Father. We must seek to turn away from our rebellion, our enmity, our war with God. And when we turn back against our, uh, away from our rebellion against God, we come back to God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It is his blood that is now uh, presented before the Father at the right hand of God. As we come to the one seated on the throne of grace, we come back to the living God through him and we are received by God. We are loved by God as his dear, dear children because of the favor that God has towards his son, because of the perfect sacrifice, the perfect life, and the perfect intercession of his son, God receives all those that come to God through him. So we're not only forgiven enemies, but we are, uh, we are established as God's children. We are welcomed in favor. We are welcomed in blessing, every spiritual blessing that's in heavenly places that is in Jesus Christ. Hope this has been helpful to you. God bless.